Hi guys, welcome to Severn Christian Church. My name is Carl Hetzer and I'm the Children's Ministry Director here and I wanted to take you on a walkthrough of what you can expect when you come back with your kids to start worshiping with us in our children's ministries again. So let's take a walk and we'll show you what you can expect when you come. some hand sanitizer. And do you need to go potty? You do? Okay. Mom, can you take him potty really quick? Okay. Okay, Cooper, can you get some more hand sanitizer for me? Scrub those, scrub those hands. Ooh, okay, I'm going to take you back to class, okay? Okay, come through here. Good morning, Cooper. How are you? Good. Come on in. But first, I'm going to ask you, do you need some hand sanitizer? All right. You you um, hand sanitize down at the station? All right. Good job, Miss Amber. Come on in. Okay. Hey, guys. I'm going to walk you through some changes we made in our classroom to make sure that your kids are staying healthy and safe the best that we can do. I'm going to go ahead and remove my mask just for this video so you guys can hear me loud and clear. Okay, so some of our first changes are we removed a lot of our toys. We wanted to make sure that the options that were in here um, were easily disinfected. So either we can fully submerge them in a disinfectant cleaner or and or um, spray them. So it's a little bit limited, but we're still we're still good. Um, we've removed our chalk because we can't sanitize that. However, we do still have our magnets that I can play with on the board, as well as um, some of our animal figures, our play tools and our fruit, which can also be fully submerged into a cleaner. We've also removed our ladder to our barn um, as we just felt like it was just too um, small of a space um, for you know kids to join up there. So we're just gonna leave it open. And then um, another change we made is we're gonna leave our stools stacked and we'll bring out as needed. In the event that we have more than 10 people in this classroom, two adults plus eight children, we will divide um, and move to a, a second classroom so that we can keep our numbers low um, for healthy social distancing. Hi there, so we are asking that no food or drinks come back in any kids' areas, um, just for safety reasons. Okay. Hi Riley, how are Hi, you? Good. good. Um, I'm gonna have you not bring back the um, drink, okay? Just, just to keep everybody safe. If you could give that to your mommy, that would be great. Thank you. Hi. Okay, Riley. Okay, Riley. Okay, Riley, you ready? Have a great day. Okay, Riley, I'm gonna sign you out. Okay, you're all good. Bye, have a good day. Hi guys, I'm gonna walk you through some of the ways that we're going to sanitize and clean up after each service. Um, if you have a child in this classroom, we're asking that you um, come talk to me, Mr. Carl, Amber, and set up a time that you can come help volunteer um, to keep it moving and, and ensure that we all are taking our parts. First, we're going to sanitize every hard surface, chairs, tables, um, the kids' tables and chairs, we have a spray that we will also spray. Um, and then we're asking that we can take these out. Um, we can either lay them all out on the floor and spray them with Lysol and or wipe them with wipes. We can also fully submerge them. All of these toys are, um, we can do either way. We have plastic toys, wooden toys, and um, that's it. We are also asking that we wipe any surfaces that are high contact, including doorknobs, light switches, um, Hello, welcome to our beautiful nursery. Um, the way that we're gonna disinfect anything in here, um, if it's fabric, we're gonna go ahead and spray it down really well. Um, we're asking that you keep all food and beverages outside of this room um, just to help. So I just wanted to let you guys know that 
we here at Severn Christian Church and the Severn Kids uh, team, we're doing everything that we can do to make sure that your kids, your children, are safe and um, stay healthy. Um, but we understand that everybody is in a kind of a different place and has a different idea of what it's going to take to keep their kids safe. So we want to tell you that we love you and that we are going to be here um, to help your kids grow closer to Jesus. But if you're, read, if you're not ready and you don't feel comfortable yet, that's fine. We're going to continue to do our online services and we're going to continue to reach out in that way. And um, I just want to tell you that when you're ready, we're ready. <laughs>